Oil. What if it ran out? The USA uses over 19 million barrels of oil per day. 66% of that is just on transportation alone. If we look at the usage of oil globally, we see that in 1980 the world uses near 60,000 barrels of oil a day. In 2000 we see that number increase. Moving to 2007, statistics show that it has risen even faster. On a timeline of oil production between 1900 and 2050, we are currently at the peak. The rate our society uses oil versus the amount of oil left on the planet means it's all downhill from here. So what? When supply is less than demand, there is a shortage. And when there is a shortage of something, we get high prices, in this case, oil. This has a knock-off effect for everyone who uses oil today. A primary example is the transport industry. Truck drivers and logistics companies will be hit hard and the frequency of deliveries will have to be cut back. Business growth will also slow. Shortage of merchandise coupled with rising prices of consumer products means profits will slow and some global businesses will find themselves in a tough situation, like budget airlines. Fuel will get so expensive they will have to rise prices or risk going bankrupt, but it's not just airlines. It could mean the end of casual car use. And as a result, commuting is too pricey and people lose jobs. Where there was money before, we'll soon find it disappearing. The economy will start to change. Rising oil prices means energy is less affordable, as well as a risk for depression or recession. Not that it matters. Without oil, over 4,000 products can't be produced such as roads, solvents, perfumes, candles, fertiliser, paint, deodorant and pretty much everything. So, we need oil. Or massive change. Because there's not enough for everyone. If oil runs out, first world countries stop working. We need to use renewable energy, such as solar power, wind power and tidal power. So what happens next? Exercise. In a future with no oil, you'll be doing a lot of walking.